Okay, so you yeah. uh, okay, so you set up those accounts and then you're over. Yeah, so I was really into tech because it's something I've always had a, an interest in. I didn't grow up with a TV or um, an electricity at home, and so the whole bright, shiny lights and things with an on and off button have mm. always fascinated mm. me. You know, when I came into the city and discovered them, like wow, this really sounds interesting. So I had an interest in from tech, and at KTN I used to do tech. At NTV I continued to do tech at CNBC. Um, I call myself a wannabe techie, like I'd have no actual technology skills. But I'm a cheerleader for technology. <laughs> and it's worked for you? It's worked for me. I have traveled the world. I have met important people. I have... You travel been... a lot. Remember we were trying to do this interview the last three, four weeks? Yeah. You've been out. I've been... We tried to do it, uh, I think, three or four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I was in mm -hmm. Hanoi, in mm -hmm. Vietnam. Correct. And I had to go to Tanzania the other week. And yeah. Nice. So you're lucky you caught me this week. <laughs> <laughs> we are not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> So I love to travel, and I'm, I'm blessed to have an opportunity to be able to do that. The trend. Yes. Where did that start? Where did that come from? So the trend was started by an excellent guy called James Smart. Oh, James Not So Smart. James Not So Smart. That's him. <laughs> so he, uh, we were thinking through what to do on Friday nights uh, with Joe Ageo, who was at NTV yeah, at the Joe. time. One of the best journalists in the business. Great guy. Um, and they came up with this idea, like, what if we could have people come together and talk about the most important issues of the day and give an, people an opportunity to speak to them and tweet them and whatnot. So they did the first show just a week or two before I left NTV. And I helped them um, out in t finding guests and just doing the KYM work. At the point, I was happy with James Smart. And he was really great at the show. Mm -hmm. He brought on politicians mm -hmm. and his influential news people and um, had a great show. Then he left NTV. It just happened that around the same time, I was coming back to NTV. So nobody from, wanted... From CNBC? From CNBC. Now, here's a, nobody wanted to do the show because they had to find their own guests and there was no structure at ETC. Mm. And I was not on a regular anchoring schedule as yet yeah. because Victoria Rubadiri had not joined. So um, one week, Smriti was away and I said, okay, I'll do the show because, well, there's not much I'm doing here anyway. And uh, that's sort of how it fell onto my laps. It was not part of my plan. It wow. was not in my contract. No. Just nobody was doing the show at the time. And, and I was available. stepped in. So we, it has evolved into what it is today. Because um, of you. Because of you. It's a train wreck. I don't know why they keep it on. <laughs> I think our bosses it's, have never watched it. It's still going down. Because if they watched it, they would have been like, no, we can't have this on our air. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, look, uh, uh, look, you're being a little modest here because you've even extended it. Now it's become, it's come before the news. You have like an 8.30 version, news, yes. right? And then it extends beyond the news. 